Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I'm just wrapping up at the office, just finished a protein shake, and I felt this was the perfect time to review the Miss Watt Stick by Hikmet Herb called Siwak purchased off Amazon for $9.99. Now the Miss Watt stick is the original, probably the oldest toothbrush recorded where it's a stick and you peel it and part of the bristles actually, well, part of the stick actually turns into bristles and it's gonna be like a toothbrush. So I thought it'd be a great time right now because it's portable to try this and see how it works. Like how would it work in my real life? So they have a couple of disclaimers on the back of this box. So the first disclaimer says, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. That's pretty standard, right? The second disclaimer says, naturally, Pilo Miswak has a strong taste. This is not a defect or bad smell at all, but it's the natural taste of Miswak which is not harmful for health. Please keep this in mind while buying this product. So they're letting us know that it's gonna have a relatively strong odor. So, but I guess it says beware, don't trip. So it has a little bit of product information on here, which I think is great. It says, what is a miswak? A miswak is a natural toothbrush picked from the tree Salvadora persica, which is also known as the pilu or arak in Arabic. Why a miswak? Miswak has been found to inhibit bacterial growth and retard the buildup of plaque, helping to improve oral health and freshen the breath. The, old to the oldest toothbrush in history. Nature has created a toothbrush perfectly matching all of the needs of our dental care. The Miswak, along with other forms of chewing sticks, is considered to be the first documented form of hygiene and has been used for more than 7,000 years. Miswaks are 100% biodegradable and are a natural alternative to plastic toothbrushes. Additionally, no toothpaste or water is needed to use miswaks. These nifty little toothbrushes are still commonly used in the Indian subcontinent, North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and in the Central and Southeast Asia. The oldest method of oral hygiene is beneficial, portable, and easy to use. That sounds pretty cool. I wonder how it fits into our life over here, or my life over here, I should say. So it says to peel about a half inch of the outer bark of the miswak to reveal the inner bristles using your moral teeth. That's what it says, M-O-R-A-L, teeth gently on the exposed parts of the miswak for about 30 seconds or until it's soft, frayed, and forms bristles. Then it says, hold the miswak perpendicular to your mouth, brushing in an up and down motion. And then it says, cut off the tip every other day for a fresh set of bristles and repeat the process. Okay, so 12 sticks come in this box and there are also holders. So I took one out, here is the holder. It's got a little bit of debris, but that's okay. Just to make sure you just rinse it out before you store your miswok. And here is the miswok. Kind of flexible in this vacuum sealed pouch. Kind of light straw like color. And let's see, let's see if it's easy enough to open. Maybe this side is easy enough to open. Looks like it would be this side that would be the easier to open. Oh, let's see, peel it. Okay, let me see if it's peeling. It's taking too long, let me grab some scissors. I do keep scissors in my car, so I don't know if I was doing this. Okay, now, so I'm taking the Pilu out, the miswak stick out of the package. It does have like a herbal odor. Like a smoky herbal or odor. Okay. Different. Okay, so you're taking it out and it does look like a stick. It is like a little bit of a, Looks like it may have been a little bit of a dampness to it. It's pretty flexible. Put you in a mind frame a little bit of incense, but not like the dragon number seven or whatever, the, some like good incense or uh, was it Shag Nabra, Nabra or something like that? Those good incense is on, it's not like that. Or oud or jasmine, not that good incense. It's herbal, like a herbal stick. So as you see, I've peeled it off. 
and these are the bristles. It's pretty easy to peel. And so now it says to put it in my mouth and soften it. And using my moral teeth, like I said, It tastes um, like it smells and little pieces come out. So you're gonna have little pieces of this like bark in your mouth. Um, let me get a like I got some of it stuck in my teeth. It's really not going to be ladylike, so let me just go to the side and get some of out of my mouth. I'm not really going to expect me eating bark while I'm trying to brush my teeth. But anywho, oh, is it in my hair? Child, it's everywhere. So I feel like I need to floss after doing this because there's little pieces of bark that's getting in between my teeth. Okay, so here it is. Little brush now. Okay, so it says brush perpendicular up and down. I thought something like this would be good brushing in between my liner trays and things like that instead of using a regular toothbrush all the time. To me, it's kind of weird to not also rinse. It doesn't give a real um, clean feeling because there are little pieces that come off. So you just feel like you need to rinse and floss and everything along with it. Um, the taste is, like I said, it tastes the way it smells. So I didn't find it. I don't find the taste super offensive or super strong, but I think my thing about it is just like the little pieces that keep coming off of the bark that are a little, um, how would I say it? It just doesn't make me feel clean. But maybe I need to use, maybe that's why there's 12 in here so I can use it in practice and, and maybe it will turn out differently. Maybe I have to peel more um, of the bark away so I won't get those little pieces of bark that I feel like are stuck between my teeth. My other concern with something like this is being in America, most of us have had feelings that have feelings that we've had for a very long time. And the thing about our feelings is the, the feelings are actually harder than the tooth. So because our feelings are harder than the tooth, we end up with stress fractures in our teeth and biting on hard things such as sticks, um, ice, almonds, things like that can crack your tooth. So that's why I wasn't really, um, I was a little concerned or kind of curious about biting on a stick. Maybe in other cultures, whether if you don't have as much, um, as many just fillings in your teeth, then you that may not be an issue. It, your teeth may be stronger than this, but with us over in America, it's a little bit different. Um, overall, I'm pretty neutral on it. It's a thing that I would try again. I personally pre prefer a toothbrush and toothpaste and floss because I'm gonna have to go back and toothbrush, toothpaste and floss because I have these little pieces in my mouth and I don't wanna put back in my liner trays and I got pieces in my mouth. So, um, like I said, I'm pretty neutral. I can see how it could work um, for some people, if, especially if it's something that you're used to. I personally probably would just um, prefer like the Meswak toothbrush and a good toothbrush because one of the things about brushing the toothbrush is that you actually have to mechanically remove the debris from all over your teeth, the plaque and debris, the buildup, so it doesn't calcify on your teeth. So with this, I think it would take a lot to do that. And I think a toothbrush is bigger and it covers more surface area. So I probably would, seeing I don't have a lot of time to go back and forth with things, I probably would prefer a toothbrush, but I do like the Meswak toothpaste. I'll try the stick again, um, just to see since I have 12 of them. So like I said, I'm pretty neutral on it. So hey, 
Get it off of Amazon for $9.99. Try it and see if you like it. It might work for you. It might be that portable toothbrush uh, replacement that you are looking for. And I'll see you next time and y'all take care.